Hello and welcome. I, of course, am Duke Silver, and today we're going to be playing some Horde Dragon, a hero that's uh, still incredibly powerful, but has kind of fallen off recently as uh, lobbies have gotten a little more aggressive, and, and I, th I feel like uh, the skill in the game has overall improved. It makes it a lot harder to, to survive long enough to get that big power spike with Horde Dragon. Uh, but I'm I'm still a fan of any hero that can get me Black Prism. Okay. So we have a, a reasonable start. Um, getting a familiar with a couple spells on it early is, is a decent little chunk of stats. Um, I saw earlier that I cycled and locked the, the Blind Mouse. But I'm not going to lock it here as I'm going into three. Unfortunately, the, uh, the Black Cat and, and Minotaur is just uh, way better for the board, so... As much as I like going for a blind mice uh, level five treasure super early on Horde Dragon, I don't I don't think it's worth locking the two uh, two cost units in the shop there. Um, so it's nice we get the Kitty Cut Purse Slay, and we picked up uh, Shadow Assassin that last turn, which scales that up a little bit. So we've got a Sherwood Sure Shot and a Lonely Prince combo in the shop here. Um, it's kind of tempting, but I am going to roll past it. Uh, we got a pair of Shadow Assassins, which is nice. And then I, I definitely want to cast a spell, so I'm just going to cast a spell and take a chicken and kind of save the gold. Put an extra point of power on my Kitty Cut Purse here and hopefully scale these Shadow Assassins up a little bit more and do get the slay, fortunately. And we somehow get the uh, the win here. I feel like I was very unfavored in that combat, but it worked out just perfectly with the the attacks. All right, and I'm gonna cast the spell with. Or it's it's worth selling out of this pair of chickens to cast the spell and finish Cinderella. And uh, getting the genie's wish and to wish upon a star is is absolutely incredible. Um, normally I would take Fancy Pants there, but because I really want to win this fight, I took the Power Orb first, just to give me the extra little power spike. Um, and then we roll and see the first four shop, and this, this monster book is just looking really tempting to me. I mean, I'm at level four a turn early, and it's just, just a nice unit to build around. And I've also I've got the Wizards Familiar that is Mixa Wizzled into this uh this wretched mummy as well, so All right, and we win the fight and get the extra experience from Wish Upon a Star. Sporko always a solid pickup as well. And since we are fighting Merlin here. Uh, they're on 4.0 and they value books as well. It makes it makes kidnap a little more valuable to me because I could potentially steal a book if they picked one up or or maybe they've got a wizard's familiar of their own that I could pair up by stealing it from them. But we get their golden cut purse, which is which is fine. It replaces a uh, regular cut purse and could potentially generate a little bit of economy and scale these shadow assassins. And we're on 5.0 pretty early. Uh, I think it's a four. It's a four point one turn right now. So picking up this Aeon with uh, with Monster Book and Sporko already is is nice. And because because we're so early um, on on five point uh, I'm just gonna buy a five and kiss it into a six because a level six character on four point one can just be devastating. Like a a Jormungand this early can can is just unstoppable. But obviously, we like an Ashwood as well. The potential of going trees is always, always good, especially on Horde Dragon because you have uh, easier access to Round Table. Get an Aeon Slay, kind of nice, little value.
Just scoping out the lobby, seeing seeing what what everyone's comp is that I've fought. I'm still I'm still pretty happy to uh, to triple this wizard's familiar. I've got the monster book. Um, it can turn into a crystal ball, which with with the Aeon already scaling itself is is pretty nice. And yeah, I'm gonna take the the tree Arthur and and get some scaling on this on this Ashwood, but. I mean, with this shop, I might be abandoning trains altogether. Altogether, tripling Aeon into a level six treasure is going to be pretty sweet. And with a second Sporko in the shop, this is looking great. And we managed to get the golden kitty cut per slay, which is going to give us an extra couple gold, which is really, really nice. With that shop, it means we can afford to buy everything that we want to. Right, and we're actually all three of these treasures are really good early and we're actually really really well set up for ninth book here so that's going to be my pick and then we can we can sell one and buy the sporko as well and we're gonna get just just a ton of scaling on these sporkos from this front row dying so this feels very strong already Okay, on, on 6.0. Basically looking for Scion of the Storm now, and, and any any Aeons that pop up, I'll play every single one of them. I don't... I, I briefly consider Baba here, but as it is, a, it's it's a mage, but I don't really want to put Aeon up front. Since I want I want Aeon in the back to be uh, scaling all my other um, mages. considering casting this apple because there's a good chance of getting a falling stars off of one of my mages and there's another aeon which as i said i'll i'll happily play all the aeons i can put it in the ambrosia slot giving me two golden aeons in the back here sending my my attack scaling into the stratosphere There's that triple for the familiar, and it is a crystal ball off the familiars. And with with the double gold aeons, there's such a good chance that I'm actually going to get the the uh, the slay off of, on one of them, which means I've got near guaranteed uh, scaling or spell reduction. Also, I take a a, a copycat here, which is maybe the best mage to have in the ninth book because obviously it, it triggers everything behind it when it attacks, and also when it gets attacked into, it's essentially its own monster book, and I seem to have forgotten that I have ninth book, because I put the monster book at the back, thinking I needed it back there. But I quickly remember and switch it back. make pretty short work of this dwarf board. Again, briefly consider Baba Yaga, but pretty unnecessary seeing as almost everything on my board is just bigger and and I don't really need the extra spell cost reduction. And yeah, in, in one turn, that uh, that second 
copycat that I bought went from 2 power to 55, which is kind of absurd. So we're definitely very powerful. Honestly, props to this tro trophy hunter for building a Romeo and Juliet board. It's kind of cool. You don't see that every day. Just figuring out what to crock. Of course, it's a monster book. Fortunate that that mixed whistle turned the ashwood into another tree, so I can keep casting spells. And there's a sign of the storm. Pretty big already. Started out as 120, 120. Gonna get much bigger. It's unfortunate that Trophy Hunter is in this lobby still. So I would really like to change into it, but we are gonna get the hero spell at the end here, or the it was all a dream. And these heroes are not great, kind of regretting changing, but we will be Jack's Giant. Because apparently Jack's Giant is, is overpowered, from if, uh, if what people say can be believed. <laughs> Yeah, the, the 10 gold for the knighthood on the sign of the storm is is definitely worth it. It's just so much so much more stats than uh, casting however many spells I was going to with the crystal ball. Like without like a forking rod or wand of weirding, it's just not it's not going to be nearly as bit as uh, big of a power spike as as this golden. Um. Also, yeah, the the tree board just cannot handle the flurry of spells from the ninth book. Also worth noting, the finals is against uh, fellow bronze pro, The Rake. Briefly considering evil twinning my, my Aeon here to get the triple. But since, since I'm not Horde Dragon anymore, it's only going to be another 5. And there's no other really level 5 treasure that I want at all. So just keeping them separate probably just better their tree, their tree board is pretty big but not quite big enough and there's there's the GG yeah that's the game um yeah so thanks everyone for watching um i would really appreciate it if you would leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already also leave a comment i respond to every comment let me know what you thought of the game or just anything really um and yeah i'll see you tomorrow